Hi, welcome to another video on Awkward Hamster. In today's video, I will be installing the bidet. I just unboxed it. I got it from Bio Bidet, and the model I got is the BB1000. It costs roughly $475, and it also came with two water filters. With this model, the BB1000, there is a remote control. But if you want to use manual operations, you still could on the right-hand side of the toilet seat. Here's some mounting items. Here's a quick operations guide. Here's an installation manual and operating instructions. On this side, we have the air filter cartridges. This looks like a bunch of don'ts and warnings for the bidet. Good. It's just a sticker so I can take this off. Okay, I'll be right back. This is my existing toilet seat. The first thing to do is to take this off, clean the surface a bit, and then get ready to install the bidet. I just removed the existing seat and the lid. The next thing I'm gonna do is turn off the water. I'm going to just flush the toilet one last time. Just make sure that I get rid of as much water from the pipes as I can. It looks very simple to install since there aren't that many parts, but always keep the installation manual near you just in case something goes wrong. At a certain point, the water can't exit this uh, container anymore. So just keep, get a bucket nearby, unscrew this piece with a paper towel ready, and drain the rest of it into this bucket. If yours is anything like mine, you need to replace this piece right here. Take this whole part out, just unscrew this part with a wrench and replace it with one of the hoses that came with the bidet. Next I'll be connecting the T-valve. But in order to connect the T-valve to the wire line, I need to first use this 3 h 3 8 inch conversion nut. All this comes with the packaging. So first, uh, I screw this on to the wire line. I'm just going to tighten this somewhat. Next, I connect the T-valve adapter to the conversion nut. I'm just going to put the camera down a bit while I tighten it some more. Now I'll take the gray hose line along with the gray tip and reconnect the water line to the fill valve. This end goes towards the water line and this end goes to right here. This is what it looks like after I finish connecting the water line to the fill valve.
this item came in the package and it just dawned on me what this was for it's a wrench so if you don't have one you can just use theirs and it works just fine if you have a wrench great if not don't worry about it they provide you with one next I'll be installing the catch plate these two items actually these four items came in one bag what you need to do is just separate this piece out this part goes on the bottom this comes in from the top So here I have the bolt and the bolt guide. Here's the other bolt and the bolt guide. All I do is just drop it in. Now I'll take these three pieces here. The washer, the nut, and the comb packaging. And I just screw it here. I'm going to need two hands for this. I had to readjust the cash plate because it, this piece was too close to this edge right here and also uh, since with my tank it's at an angle over here the bidet won't be able to go all the way back and snap in 